Your thoughts on it? Uh, very frustrated by the result, obviously, but didn't I think that was probably the biggest bit. You got the emotional side of the uh, the result right now, and obviously the manner of the game. I think uh, you said it to the players afterwards in the changing room. I think it might not actually be the worst worst result for us in the longer term, which is a mad thing to say because I hate losing, but. I think, you know, obviously with the, the manner of the performances and the results we've had in the last two pre-season games, the actual wake-up call, the grounding, that actually we haven't cracked it, we have got a lot of work to do and, you know, I think that, that for me is, if we, if we take that lesson and we use it as a, a positive outcome from an experience perspective to make sure that, you know, if you come here, that, you, that doesn't happen, you don't give them anything, then then I, it will be a better group for it. Uh, they scored their first chance, which, they didn't have many chances through the game, did they? No, there wasn't a huge amount in the, in the whole game throughout. I think, uh, yeah, I, I think that's the biggest bit. If you, the frustrating thing is the, how, how they set up. All the work we'd done, all the uh, the game plan was exactly what we said it would be. And yeah, that's probably the frustration, I think, from, from the first half. It's not, it wasn't anything tactical. It was actually the behavioural element where, again, I think that you can sometimes get too hyped up. And I thought there was a few examples of that. People diving in 1v1, getting beat. People taking three or four touches. and. You know, it's almost game uh, game brain flips in rather than actually staying on plan and sticking to what we were, were trying to do. Um, and then that's the bit you only, like I said, you should, you should be coming away from the game nil nil going, we didn't create enough or we didn't have enough quality high up, but at the same point, we haven't given them anything. Well, I thought you had the momentum. Stan Mills has a header that Jack Stevens saves. If that goes in, I thought you had the momentum. Could quite easily have got something out of that. Yeah, I think overall we went in some dangerous areas. Definitely didn't create enough. and. Again, like I said, be where we're at in the stage of a team, forming a new team, new ways of, of working. It, what we did have is complete control for, for large periods with 70% of the ball, but then it's what you do with it. And again, I think it's that keeping control, not, not turning it over and it ending up in the back of our net for, you know, in the, in the space of 10 seconds, that's not it. Um, but at the same point, it's then gone and how do we create and we've got some really good areas around the penalty box, but either lack quality in the decision or, or you know, the execution on the action. Disappointing for you, disappointing for the players, but the biggest disappointment I think is for the fans because they've travelled in numbers, got behind you. We'll go again. Yeah, definitely. Uh, a long, lot of games left, 45 league games. I think that's the biggest bit, like I said, uh, terrific support today and even at the end obviously not the performance and the result we wanted but still you know, sh showing an appreciation to the lads which again, it, it wasn't for a lack of wanting it today, it wasn't for a lack of work, I thought we, we showed that, it was you know, a lack of quality and a, a lack of emotional control so yeah, you know, thanks to the fans from me, from the players and hey, look, we'll do everything in our power now to make it right Wednesday.